uh, be delighted to because we think that regional equity, uh, Mr. Chair, is a cornerstone of Mr. Gilbert. And we understand that we have to provide that because fairness dictates it. Now, first thing, and I mentioned this in my remarks, I, I really think this is historic. We have written into the bill, and it would be if you passed it in the law, a requirement that return to each highway district a specific proportion of the gas tax revenue that comes out of that district goes back into the district. One of the concerns that I think is legitimate that people have is how do we guarantee folks that they have a return on their investment? Well, what's and the percent? Is there a percentage number? 75 percent. And that's, we proposed that because we thought that was a fair and substantial number. You never know what the contingencies out there. If the bridge fails somewhere, you need extra help, so we didn't make 100%. But I, it is, I think, historic for the legislature and the governor to be able to say, whatever gas tax you pay in Highway District 2, which is your district, or 4, which is here, you will get a return back and a minimum of 75% of that investment. That's real regional equity. Then you look at the 19 cents that we propose. That's a penny and a half for regional transit departments, forward funding them and increasing their, their funding. There's a penny and a half for dedicated road and bridge projects outside of, of the city, of Boston. There's two cents, there's two cents for mass highway. It frees up $52 million of highway dollars. It flows through that formula. So that 75% formula. That's another 52 million. If you add that 52 million, now, can you walk through that one more time? Sure. Yeah. Please, please, please. The, when you move highway department, <coughs> two cents that moves highway department employees off the capital budget, immediately frees up about 52 million dollars, and that's all highway. That's road and bridge. And what I'm saying is that that money will flow through the formula that I talked about. So it's part of that. Yeah, it's part of that 75 percent that will come back to your area, your highway district. If you take the penny and a half of regional road and you add that to the two cents, that's almost $100 million of new highway road and bridge money flowing through the formula. That's a good thing. And that's real regional equity. So we've got that. We think we've got regional equity at the highway and road and road. We've got regional transit coverage funding. There's also rail funding in this for South Coast Rail for improvements to the Haverhill Line and the Down Eastern Line, we can do high-speed rail, for Pioneer Valley and the so-called Knowledge Corridor. These are about choices. If people think that those are investments that are important, then let's have that discussion. And, but that's our regional equity. It's a commitment to people, not trust us, not trust in our successors, in the statute, a return on that investment, plus funding from RTAs, and I looked around the table, you know, and I can see whether it's Attleboro, whether it's Lynn, or whether it's Chicopee, I believe that there is good faith in regional equity in this bill that people can be happy about. Certainly um, happy to work with you all in collaboration to even improve it. But I think it's there, and I think it's essential. I think we all agree with it. Are you saying, or are you not saying, that, that uh if the gas tax were to be increased by 19 cents to 42 and a half cents, that, that across regions, whatever 42 cents, 42 and a half cents yields in Highway District 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5, that 75% of that amount That's correct. is going to uh, be to applied regionally. Exactly. So the current gas tax, which is almost all road and bridge, would also flow through that formula. So that's 21 cents plus the additional 100 million that I've talked about from the penny and a half and the two cents. One more time, that last yeah. statement, that last part. Yeah. Just, can you just repeat that? Flowing through the formula, the 75% return to the district would be basically the entirety of the current gas tax. Correct? In addition to that, we have a penny and a half, which is about $40 million, targeted to a regional road and bridge project program. And we free up $52 million by moving highway department employees off the capital budget. That's $97 million. It's almost $100 million. So it's a new $100 million plus, however much the 21, uh, I was an English major, so I can't do it in my head. However much the 21 cents. 
That's, that is what we're talking about. That's real return on investment. And I think that's how we keep faith with people on regional equity. And we don't ignore the public transit side. Either. So, you know, whether it's GATRA or it's NBRTA or PBTA, um, we, we've got that covered in this one. Yeah, well, we're going to model this a little bit because uh, I just want to be okay. clearer even. And, and, I, and I'm not sure how clear I am on that whole 75% regional equity and, and, and so it, it's, it's going to need to be something that uh, I understand in layman's terms and yes. the few people I represent mm -hmm. uh, then will and, and right now I, there's a lot of head scratching uh, legislatively around that issue so uh, perhaps a simple fact sheet with the other information I asked for that can outline that and yeah it's in the bill uh, it's very you know it's, it, there's a formula of the bill we can point you to the section again I'm no pride of authorship I'm happy to improve it, make it clearer. That you know, you all will make put your imprint on it. But the concept, and the intent, is how I have described it. Thank you. Thank you, Secretary. I first want to thank you for your commitment to regional equity. It's clear to me that the system we have right now essentially has no regional equity. We're looking at a system status quo that is, it's in some ways, a discussion of whoever the governor happens to be and how they spend that money across the region. So I think whatever the formula ends up being, however we structure it, so I think it's important to begin to look at, make sure that every region across the state has that kind of guarantee of return on their investment for the gas tax or whatever the revenue is coming into the highway fund. Um, I also want to thank you for your commitment to public transit in particular. Uh, you're taking the commuter rail up here this evening, I think, shows that as an example. Uh, as symbolic as it may be, but you know, to make the point that um, investing in public transportation systems, whether it's the T or the RTs across the state, has to be a priority in whatever we put forward out of this legislature. Uh, I'm curious whether you could address the what status quo means for public transit, what status quo means for the RTAs and the T for fares and services going forward if we do not pass the governor's legislation or the, the Senate's legislation. Well, the, the price of inaction is pretty steep. The price of inaction for regional transit authorities, like the, the MVRTA here, uh, probably means reduced service and higher fares. The price of inaction for the MBTA means uh, a fare increase in the 30% range. It means significant cutbacks in service. Kind of the kinds of cutbacks that I'm reluctant to do. Evening service, for me, is as much a public safety issue as it is a mobility issue. And um, it will be, there'll be real pain. And not just real pain, but it could be impact on the economy. People use the regional transit system and the MBTA, not for the fun of it, they use it to get to work. This is about people getting to their jobs. This is about people taking commuter rail to work, to come home and make sure that train is available to get them back to their families at night on a timely basis, to pick the kid up from school to get to the hospital for their checkup. And so I just don't see how we can fail in addressing the issue. I know it's a difficult conversation for people because no one likes to have a conversation about gas tax or prices of tea or turnpike tolls, but we inherited it. We all did, we're all in this together, and I'm, you know, hopefully they'll roll in the same direction you all are to solve it. But the price of inaction is steep. I appreciate your raising it. I appreciate your leadership. Thank you.